What's going on everybody? It is August 8th, not April 8th. <laughs> I said April yesterday and obviously not April, it's August. So <laughs> August 8th, 2023, it's Tuesday. So we got, uh, we got one here today. Um, I only filmed the one today. I did a couple today, but I only filmed the one. Um, had a new condenser motor and a filter dryer to do, a leaky filter dryer on a uh, 460 volt York heat pump. Um, got it knocked right out, so take a look. All right guys, we got a condenser motor to change out and a filter dryer to change. And we gotta charge this bad boy back up. So we're about to get started on that right now. Oh, this is the unit we're working on. We got the condenser motor pulled out of it, but notice this one's not working either contactors pulled in but we have no unit running so it's a 460 volt unit might have a blown fuse trip breaker let's check it out all right so where this is three phase 460 volt really wish they didn't use this ground wire as one of their power wires but is what it is probably single phase at one point and then they switched to 460 didn't want to run a new wire oops all right let's grab our leads here we're gonna test the cross from here to here. Nothing. From here to here, nothing. And now from one to three, nothing. Now, we're also gonna go from each to ground. Nothing. Nothing. nothing so let's turn the disconnect off so either we have three blunt we have no fuses who the hell pulled the fuses out of this this one's got its fuses who in the name of god pulled the fuses See if we got power. This unit worked a couple weeks ago and had all its fuses because we were just here to diagnose that unit. Right, our power comes in here to the top of the disconnect. We have any power there either yeah we have no power coming to the disconnect either so someone pulled the fuses and killed the power to it i'm gonna check the power to this one <clears throat> i when i first got here i asked the maintenance guys or when i realized the one wasn't working <clears throat> i asked the maintenance guys why the other one isn't working and they Sorry, I had to put the phone down to test it, but this one at least does have power to it. Something weird's going on with this one. The maintenance department said the fuses, another maintenance guy told me the fuses blew and he just pulled them out of there. Don't know why he didn't try to release them. I don't know. Yeah, sorry guys, it's pretty windy here today. Doing the best I can. All right, the maintenance department seeing if they can come up with any of those screw those um fuses for us. So we're gonna get back on this. We're gonna take this panel off here so we can access the filter dryer to get that out all right got this open up ideally what I'd like to do here is take the filter dryer out put a little scab of copper in here and then move the filter dryer out here and I think that's what I'm gonna do just make it easier on myself well, that's a big screw Guys, we are getting prepped to pull this, this filter dryer off. Got my uh, thermo trap on the uh, valve uh, right here. We're gonna heat this baby up and pull it right on out. All right, 
Kenny's cutting out our piece of uh, copper on that side. Well, all we're gonna do is, where we're gonna put the filter dryer there, we're gonna take that scab of copper and put it right here. It looks like we got enough freaking solder on there to solder it back without even using any fresh. But, yes, sir. Yeah, here's the swedging tool we're gonna use. I've had this one for years. Works great. Just need three eighths on this one. Anytime you swedge though, you want to make sure you deburr that pipe before you put the swedger in there. But yeah, this one goes up to inch and an eighth. Uh, I think they make bigger sizes, but I wouldn't need to swedge anything bigger than an inch and an eighth. I wouldn't even get anything soft copper bigger than an inch and an eighth, honestly. All right, we got our stub of copper in right there. Got our filter dryer brazed in. Got to start putting stuff back together. You know what? I'm going to pressurize it with nitro first. Um, Kenny did the fan, so he's about to drop that in there. Uh, yeah, making progress. All right, we've had her sitting uh, a little over 300 for a couple minutes now. We'll let her sit for a few more minutes, put the panels back on, put the motor in. We still got to wire the motor, but some odds and ends. Then we're going to be throwing her on the vacuum pump. I still got to revisit this guy here got new fuses for it the maintenance department said it blew the fuses so i find it hard to believe it blew all three but i got three new fuses here these are 600 volt 20 amp fuses so we're gonna put them in i'm gonna test for shorts first make sure i'm not gonna blow another fuse and uh go from there i find it hard to believe it blew all three and i the thought process i'm <laughs> a little a little uh, confused about also how blew the fuses there so you shut down power to both outdoor units and both air handlers but I don't know maybe they felt that was needed all right guys we got her on vacuum now we just switched her on we're gonna get a bite to eat we still got some wiring to clean up and stuff like that but we're gonna go grab some lunch and come back at it all right back from lunch now Got a decent vacuum going here for an older system uh down to 192. i like that we'll do a quick decay test but we should be good we're gonna charge this thing up all right decay test got us to about 672 i can live with that 673 i can live with that all right we're charging her up now the system takes 13 pounds six ounces i don't have that much in this tank but i'm gonna give it all she's got and then go grab a new one all right we got the factory charge in it now we'll let it do its thing for a few minutes looks like it might be enough we'll let it settle out um meantime we'll go over there and we'll test that other one for shorts and uh see if it just blew a fuse or if there's a reason it blew a fuse all right we're locked on a ground right now let's just make sure yep we got a ground there grounded there yep we're grounded there too once i get the old paint off so let's just take a look Denser motor might be shorted. Let's take a little bit of closer look at that. All right, my condenser motor has a plug on it, so we're just gonna just check our ground on it. Okay, our ground is good. We're gonna go to the red side good our capacitor side that's good all right and our black is also good so I'm not sure where that shorts coming up at unless it's the contactor itself uh, you know what I was I think I accidentally hit 
the low voltage. Yes, I did hit the low voltage. That's where that came from. Guys, I wanted to jump jump in real quick and say um, I was testing from ground to the common side of that contactor coil. That's why I was getting a, um, a tone there. Um, the common side of your low voltage is connected to ground. It's basically a ground. So, um, matter of fact, if you look on a transformer, a lot of times they're grounded right from common. So that's why I was getting that tone. It was a mistake on me. Just wanted to jump in and tell you guys that's what I was talking about there. I was kind of vague in the video. So, all right, back at it. So I don't see where this short is. We could still have a locked compressor or something like that, but I'm not testing a short at the moment. So we're gonna put new fuses in it and see what happens. Got an amp probe thrown on it real quick. Turn it on. Seemed like it came on okay. Grab an amp draw on each leg. Four. First one was pulling five. Five. All right, let's let it run for a couple minutes. All right, go inside here and check. Let's see what our supply temps are. Got the uh, B20 by HK, HIK Micro. All right, so it's putting out 54 degree air. Very cool. Let's see what this one's doing. This one, this first one here that I tested, that's the one I believe I just did the um, all the work to. This one right here is the one I put the fuses in. So this one's putting out 49 degree air. Yeah. This is a maintenance shop. Pretty good size one. 81 degrees in here. They got the door open too over there. They're gonna wanna shut that. I might shut it for them. So right in the center, we're at 75 degrees. center here we're looking at 50, yeah so like 53 degrees this thing's putting out some decent air all right let me go close this door all right got the door shut so we can keep the air conditioning in all right the field test is super cold yes sir Pretty satisfying fixing two air conditioners that do the same space. If you guys are interested in getting a HIK Micro B20 for yourself, I'm gonna put a link down in, in the description. Uh, it's a little more spendy than the uh, the Top Don uh, TC002, uh, but it's a pretty good camera. So um, I'll put a link down in the description, check it out. All right, this is what we got here. I don't think I'm gonna mess with this anymore. That superheat is a little low, so is the sub cooling, but we have a pretty good temp split. I don't think I'm gonna mess with this one anymore. We'll see how it settles out. All right, we've dropped three degrees. Looking good. Set these at 75. All right, guys, we got that thing knocked right out. We're good to go there. Um, not 100% sure why the maintenance guy decided just to pull the fuses out and uh, leave them out and leave them with no air conditioning in the maintenance shop. But, you know, that, that's what he did. But, you know, maybe he was just, um, he thought he was over his head with it and just wanted to uh, leave it alone. And sometimes that is best. 
got them all fixed up. We got them good to go. I didn't see any reason why that unit should have uh, blew a fuse. Uh, maybe a uh, high voltage surge struck by lightning. Not sure. You know, sometimes fuses just blow. So, but we got them all fixed up and we are off to the next one. So, all right, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, check down in the, um, the description. A lot of cool products down there and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wow.